वेलकम गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू गेट द डेटा इन अ लिस्ट इन व्यू एंड वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस टेबल एंड दिस स्टाइल सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव नॉट डिफाइंड द स्टाइल दीज आर द बॉर्डर कोलैप्स विच वी आर कोलैप्सिंग एंड द टोटल टेबल विथ इज हंड्रेड इन दिस आई हैव गिवन टी एच एंड टी डी दैट इज अ पेडिंग विल बी एट पिक्सल टेक्सट लाइन विल बी द लेफ्ट एंड बॉर्डर बॉर्डम will be the one pixel solid so uh, these are the here so whenever i'll reload this you can check this in this we are giving the padding so the padding is this in between the space in this in this these are the in between the space there is a padding so these are the space and after that uh, there is a border color, background color this will be a, you can change like that okay so whenever you will save and whenever you will reload this okay so you have to just oh, sorry see this is the background color of the which we are using on td th because these are the th if you want to give th or anything else this color you can change it by with this method and you have to just reload this see the changes the color is changing here so in this video we will learn about edit the mongoose query that's called update fun we have to update this document this document so whenever we will update anything in our db in this uh, we will follow one format structure of the mongoose that is if you have a unique one id on the based of that unique id we will update our document so in mongo db all things are in the document based that's we are using this data so we will start on that okay let's start with that i'll copy this whole route okay and i'll change the ob i'll paste it below it and in this i'll make the name change update correct in this uh, you have to just remove this thing i uh, will make one object of this that name will be we will change this name what should be the name tom the name will be the tom and email tom at the rate gmail dot com and age will be Thirty-two, correct. This you have given, but you have to give one ID as well, underscore ID. So that ID where you will get whenever you will check the list. I'll open the console here. Okay. So whenever you will check this element. Okay. I'll do it in below. so in the form action these are the style which we're using in that table there is a t body ashish there is a no we are we are not using this sort okay with that id so you already have a mongoose correct we are not getting the id from the back end side cons const underscore id first uh, set this error this id you will get from here correct so this is the xyz at the rate gmail dot com xyz and h and also these are exist in the document xyz xyz at the rate gmail dot com and h will be zero so we will update this document now go to again on mongoose take this id and go to put it here correct so now you have to change here as well you have to remove and uh, you are using user const you even you don't have to use the wait we can use a wait here user dot update one we are using we are why we are using update one because we have only one document and one id 
so we are using update one here this is a condition if you can check filter filter query after that there will be a payload correct so here first it will filter the data based on which id we are passing from here okay after that we will set the data dollar set which we are using you can use like that as well but i already declare a one object above so you have to just pass directly payload here right so it will update the data but whenever we will call this url update it will not work it will not work and it will not show the updated data in the back back again to you so you have to just copy this things and paste it here and just change the data list get successfully so all things are fine here i have declared one id payload that's the first name first parameter is name second is email and third one is age which we are using on our mongoose see email name and age this parameter you are using currently okay so the last uh, on the next you have used await because whenever we will update get anything you have to use async await we have to make a synchronous our node.js application so user dot update one and in which we are passing our condition in which based on that we are getting the data so that we can update corrected uh, payload not different other one okay and this is our payload so we have to just reload that okay and uh, just copy this just check here we will up change this data you have to just call update okay uh, it will not work why mm, there is some issue why it's not working we'll check okay we have to check why it's not working yeah it's working i think app is not uh, run so these are we have updated this data based on that but we need this based on click on the edit whenever we will click on the edit we will pass the id and that data will automatically occur on this fields so currently we will make it as a dynamic you have you did only for the one record as on the code you have a edit or we have edit these things correct but it should be dynamic so for the dynamic we will do in the next lecture thank you thank you for the watching